Good evening friends, uh, in the last video walk of mine, I discussed about the reduction and not eliminating the errors. Now here, how are you going to do the reduction in errors or for errors? If I have to correct my English, a uh, reduction, uh, the correct way of writing is reduction in error. However, in spoken English, we will say reduction for errors. So how do you understand them? So the technical jargon is that bring it to the lowest form. Remember that. How do you reduce the errors? By bringing them to their lowest form. And we will see how to take care of it. However, try to remember when we are working with the uh, practical, um, uh, with the data in front of us, <clears throat> you would be able to understand what exactly do I mean by it. However, for the time being, remember, we have to bring it to the lowest form. And that's why we use the word reduction into the uh, jargon. Now, how do we do it? We are taking care through OLS regression. So, here I have introduced to you after the linear regression, which is the first variety of regression. Now, I am coming to the second form of regression, saying that if you are following those parameters, okay, one by one by one by one, and you have come over to the errors, and you are saying that yes, um, you are uh, questioning, can I go ahead and eliminate? Your observation tells you, rather than eliminating it, this is where you need to understand and remember, you have reached to that point in your data and the output is showing to you that yes, you need to eliminate the um, data that is present over the errors which are present. The thing is that how can you eliminate them? You cannot eliminate them. You need to reduce it. Now, there you have to understand that yes, you are going to go ahead with the OLS regression. OLS stands for ordinary least square regression. Now, what does that mean? No. Okay, so till here, the flow is now, I hope you are able to see the flow in the entire thing and how from data we have reached to the ordinary least square regression. So let us understand it more. However, till now, conceptually, you have understood that yes, you have reached in your data analysis, you are seeing that yes, errors are existing. However, now you're questioning, can I eliminate these errors from my data? The question has come in. However, we know that you cannot eliminate. So what is the uh, tool that you have got next one? The thing is that you will go ahead and you will say, okay, okay, let me reduce it. Now, once you say that, yes, I have to reduce it, bringing it to the lowest form, this is what we call it as the ordinary least square regression. So this is how I can introduce you, all of you to the OLS regression. Now, let's proceed further and understand uh, reduction. So what is the thing that we have seen out here? Here we have checked out that yes, uh, uh, you know, we have proceed further and we have come across to the reduction in error. It means that I have to come to its lowest form. Well and good. The next one is that uh, whenever I state I'm using simple regression technique, now you understood. When you say simply uh, regression technique, it means that you are using one of these regression forms. What are they? Either linear you're using, that is linear regression, or Linear regression means what? Exactly one independent variable. If you think that yes, in your data set, rather than just one independent variable, you have got set of independent variables. It can be two, three, four, five. You entered into multiple regression. Now, this is where we come in for the OLS technique. So, I hope I have made you understand till now what exactly is OLS technique and how to proceed further from here. Now, in the next one, you will see that uh, the moment uh, you are uh, in that particular zone where you say that, yes, I have, I'm using the OLS regression technique, it means that what? You are going to reduce the errors which is present in your data set 
through the sum of the squared errors. Now, here, remember this one. That's why it is called as OLS method for us. Now, reducing the sum of the squared errors. Errors which are present in the squared form. So, what is it? This is coming in this form. That is sigma. That is actual y minus the predicted y, which is the change in the y from the actual. If you subtract the predicted, that is the new y you have got and you square it out together, you are reducing the errors also side by side. Finding the best values, this means that you would be able to uh, come up or arrive at the best value of the regression coefficient that comes out in the form of B0, beta 1, beta 2, beta 3, it you can carry forward depending upon your set of independent uh, variables in your data set. So, this is how uh, you proceed further and you understand. So, does that mean that OLS is the only technique? Till now, we have seen simple linear regression. Then, uh, I have introduced to you multiple regression through the OLS. So, does that mean that this is the only regression technique that we have got? The answer is, let's see what is the answer now. The answer is big no, noops. Now, here <clears throat> I'm showcasing to you 22 varieties of regression. Otherwise, there are in total 64 varieties. In fact, uh, when I was interacting with David Corliss, he made it very clear. Ramani, I cannot give you any number. You know, there are many, many. You can find as many uh, regressions as possible. Maybe there are those regressions uh, which, uh, you know, we have not yet labeled in English. And he was absolutely absolutely right in that <clears throat> and there is a common project uh, which I'm discussing with him and then we will see more about it okay otherwise till now it is exactly is 64 varieties of the regression what are they GL we have seen OLS the next one is GLS it is also called as generalized least squares regression then we have got partial least squares or PLS regression percentage least square regression TLS or total least square regression, least absolute deviation or LAD regression, piecewise linear regression. We will see uh, within the linear, uh, I mean, though we are saying that yes, it's a simple linear equation, uh, regression, I'm sorry. However, within this simple linear regression also, I have seen that there are varieties of it. So, we will see what those are. So, I've understood that simple linear equation, then we have got the uh, non-linear uh, regression. Within the non-linear also, we have got curved, then non-curved. We will see those varieties also later on as the time permits to me. So, regression on unusual domains, then we have got polynomial uh, regression, logistic regression, quantile regression, ridge regression, lasso regression. You know, you remember that cowboy with the lasso. So, we will see how the lassos are working in the regression. Elastic net, now trust me, when I uh, first I got that list and I saw lasso regression, I was thinking the person must have really seen the cowboy, you know, and then uh, the lasso. Then I realized later on that the thing was totally different and we will see what they are. Elastic net regression, principal components regression, support vector regression, ordinal regression, poison regression, negative binomial regression. Does that mean there is positive binomial regression? No. See, these are the questions which need to come up for you and please do not uh, stop yourself, prevent yourself from questioning. The more you question, the more you come up, it's always the better. You know, that's how I learned and I was very very happy uh, after some time when I received the chocolate and I was said, um, you know, I was complimented. Fine. Thanks. Asking me so many questions that finally you have learned a little bit about regression also. So next we have got the Cox regression, quasi poison regression, Tobit probit regression. And trust me, these are just 22. Uh, otherwise, uh, I should say, uh, in total, till date, I have discovered 64 varieties of regression. So, 64 minus 22. So, I have to give you more 42 varieties of regression. Okay. So, we, as the time permits, we will go ahead and we will learn more about them. Till then, thanks and take care. Bye.